I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. We are so proud of you, Ashley. Come on. Thank God for that. Oh man, we love you so much. We're so happy. Well done. Well done. Hey you guys, I'm going to Notre Dame and I'm super duper excited. I put it in my Instagram bio, but now it's official because I paid my enrollment deposit, so I'm super duper excited. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about why I chose Notre Dame. So I actually ended up going to Admitted Students Day in February and I met a lot of amazing people. The campus was gorgeous. The only thing that I really didn't like was is the fact that Notre Dame is in a really small town called South Bend, Indiana. And personally, like I'm a city person. I like being in cities. I like the ambiance and I like having a lot of things to do. But Chicago is like an hour and a half away and there's a shuttle and a train, I think, which a lot of like Notre Dame students have told me. So that's why I'm like a little bit more okay with living in South Bend for four years. There's not a whole lot there besides Notre Dame, if you catch my drift. Um, I was also really worried about the weather just because I live in Texas. Texas heat is next level. It is so humid. It's so hot, but I literally hate Texas weather so much. The humidity is disgusting. Like I hate it and South Bend is basically the polar opposite it is so so cold and that's a big reason that I went in February was I wanted to kind of see how the cold weather was like if I could get acclimated to it and it actually wasn't as bad as I thought um, again I was only there for a few days but you know I bundled up in jackets and I was like walking to the buildings because we had an opportunity to um, listen to like some professors and do sample classes so that was really fun and I was okay with the cold weather Weather. so yeah I just hate the humidity and another big reason that I love Notre Dame is its faith-based education so a big reason that I liked the business school was their mission is to grow the good in business which personally I love I did grow up Catholic so I feel like that's a big reason that I was drawn to Notre Dame and another thing to mention was I was really deciding between um, Notre Dame and SMU and SMU gave me a really big scholarship and Notre Dame actually gave me even better financial aid so in terms of like tuition and housing Notre Dame was actually cheaper to go to which is kind of funny then again when you like throw in the cost of like flights and like traveling um, Notre Dame will probably be more expensive but they give really good financial aid so if you want to go to Notre Dame the plus is that they give really really good financial aid they were not joking about that they talked a lot about that in their zoom sessions and they were not kidding I was really shocked when I got my financial aid back another thing that I did want to mention is I did end up keeping myself on two wait lists um, when I was getting my decisions back and I kept myself on the UCLA and U Miami waitlist. I kept myself on the UCLA waitlist because it's UCLA and I that was like my childhood dream school and I was like obsessed with California and like Los Angeles so I really did that to appease my inner child and then U Miami my dad is actually getting his doctorate degree from there. I don't really have any expectations for like either of the schools and I'm really happy with going to Notre Dame so yeah I've been talking to a lot of people that go to Notre Dame and um, new students that I'm going to be seeing in the fall and I'm really excited everyone seems so nice and yeah go Irish okay hey you guys my bed is literally a mess and you guys know that I want to do that like bed college decision reveal thingy so I have to like clean my bed I like kind of clean the rest of my room just don't look at it too closely but yeah I really need to like clean it and organize it so I can start putting all the stuff up and I'm super duper excited Okay, so I finally made my bed-ish. Let me just show you some of the stuff that I'm gonna be putting up. This I got like this foil like wallpaper thing that I'm gonna put in the background. And then when I went to visit Notre Dame for like admitted students day, I got like, it has like a bunch of stuff in it with like personal information. Um, it's just like a little packet of like the sample classes and saying that I went to like admitted students day and just like a bunch of like random stuff in it. I also got this really cool pass. Is this focusing? Okay. I got this really cool pass. I'm covering up the city that I'm from, but I literally think that it's the coolest thing ever. So I'm going to put that up and then honestly, oh no, I just dropped it. I have like a ton of, oh no, oh no. Then I have my acceptance letter. Then a package from like the business school, which is just about like some of their programs and stuff. 
and then I have like other pro promotional like stuff that they sent me that I'm just gonna like scatter around my bed okay hopefully this is a little bit of a better angle okay so the next thing I have is this pennant that I think Notre Dame sends to like all admitted students and when I got this I literally thought that it was the coolest thing ever so it's literally one of my favorite things and I have this Notre Dame shirt that I'm gonna wear this vintage Notre Dame sweatshirt that I bought another vintage Notre Dame sweatshirt that I bought this is a sweatshirt that I bought at admitted students day at the bookstore then this is actually my dad's Notre Dame shirt but I needed like some Notre Dame like a lot of Notre Dame stuff and then at admitted students day they actually gave us all this shirt which is really cool like it has the logo and then it says class of 2026 on the back so yeah then I have some things that are just like Notre Dame colors ish like the bluish navy color and then lastly I have this hat that my mom bought because my mom loves wearing hats so I might wear it or I may just like put it on the bed I'm like not really a hat person though so I may just like put it on the bed I also have baccalaureate today so I really need to hurry up if I want to be able to get ready for baccalaureate so yeah okay at party city i found like this foil thing that a lot of people use in like these photos that you see on pinterest so i'm gonna try to put it up i have no idea how i'm supposed to do this it's eight feet long so yeah i don't know that seems like it's big enough the problem is my wall is like really long we're, we're just we're gonna try our best okay it's not as big as i would have thought but this is literally how big it is I'm gonna have to like put it right down the middle i have balloons too so we should be fine but oh shit i think i got it like mixed up hold on let me try to untangle it so i was able to untangle this pretty easily so yeah i'm gonna work on putting it up there somewhere i think i'm just gonna end up using some double-sided tape to like stick it up there because i don't know how else i would put that up there Okay, I will say it does look kind of funny considering it's only in like the middle part of the room, but you know what? I believe in us. We can make we can make it work. I brought all my balloons. I turned the fan off in my room, so it's really hot. And yeah, let's just place the balloons around. I'm really excited. This is gonna be so cute. Yeah, okay. Let's let's figure out how we're gonna set this up. Okay, you guys, I'm kind of obsessed with the balloons, so let me show you. So this is what it looks like so far. Very cute. These balloons are actually two different sizes because I thought they would be mixed, but they're not, and it's fine, and I really don't feel like mixing them because it's like whatever. Last thing of balloons is my N and D balloons for Notre Dame that I'm going to be holding in the picture, but I'm just going to leave it in like its package right now because I really just wanted to set that up again. I just like taped it to like the sides of my bed, and I actually... I actually really like this. I think it's really cute. So it's like 3.30 ish right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and flat iron my hair and um, then we'll come back and we'll like set up the bed and then take the picture because I have to leave around like 4.45 because I have to be at my baccalaureate thing because it starts at 6 but we're required to be there by 5.15 which it's really annoying but fine whatever hopefully I'm hoping it's not longer than like an hour and a half but yeah I'm just doing it because my mom really wants me to do it so yeah hey y'all the background looks literally so good and my balloons keep moving in the background and it's kind of freaking me out because it sounds like movement and it's just I don't know it's kind of freaking me out but yeah we need to put in contacts put on makeup and yeah then we can take some pictures it's like almost four o'clock and i really need to leave by like 4 45 so i took a lot more time to do everything than i thought like i was like oh it probably won't take that long it's taking a really long time so we love that for us to made of people in my dreams the last time if i recall was a feeling of being alone i don't know if where I'm going isn't far, but in case I go, no need to be stressed, gotta take it home, get there, I really miss the shade. 
now that I do have some makeup on, let, let's organize like all my Notre Dame stuff on the bed so we can get a few pictures while there's light because by the time my baccalaureate is done, it's going to be pretty late. I assume like 7.38. So yeah, that's just a very, very long time and it'll be dark by the time I get home. So yeah. Just You guys look how cute this is i'm so obsessed i'm so obsessed i think i may just try to find some more blue stuff just to like fill in the gaps but yeah i love the way that it looks this is kind of what it looks like from like a uh, wider perspective but yeah very cute got my acceptance letter and like a bunch of under other stuff and yeah those are my favorite sweatshirts so that's why i put it like that okay i just opened my blinds for better lighting and it looks literally so good i put my notre dame shirt on and i have my notre dame pennant or like flag or whatever you want to call it over here and i have the whole thing set up let me show you like everything officially so yeah i just added some more like notre dame color stuff and then i'm going to be holding like my nd blue and I'm really excited so let's try to like set this up as best we can okay my setup looks so good I set up my camera and everything here are my NND balloons okay we love them yeah, I think this is the right way I'm super duper excited or should it be this way I think Hold on. yeah it should be this way mm, this is so exciting okay so I'm gonna try to set myself up on the bed to like take this picture it's going to be it's going to be very rough okay hey you guys it is currently the next day but basically what i'm going to do is i need to put on some makeup and i fixed my bed like i redid it for today and the balloons have kind of like drop down so I taped them like on my headboard thing so it would just look a little less weird so yeah makeup I need to change into my shirt and then yeah I'm gonna have to reorganize the bed and today I'm gonna ask my dad to take the pictures just so I don't have to do the camera thing and then screenshot like where I look good so then we can kind of compare how the photos differ but I'm hope hopefully this will turn out better oh my dad actually took such good pictures this is probably like one of my favorites I'm so surprised he actually took really really good ones but yeah I'm probably gonna, just gonna go through a few and favor my favorites and yeah one thing though is like the little back corner is like a little bit pink but I don't care I'm so happy that I did this and it's so cute and I'm really excited I really miss the shade of blue Ooh, just take it slow I'll wait to find love Better hear the call again For now I will feel the ocean through Okay, it is much later. I got home from my friend's surprise birthday and the grad party that I went to and I had a lot of fun but totally forgot to film an outro so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and comment down any other videos you guys want to see and also I'm starting a new vlog channel just because this channel is definitely focused on like on school content and I want to make like other videos that probably wouldn't do as well on this channel so if you want to please subscribe to that and I'll put it in the description box but yeah bye